guys welcome to my this video my name is anurag and today in this web designing series i will show you how to create this kind of design so here i have used html css and javascript and this design is for basic to advanced if you are the beginner and don't have the basic knowledge of html after that you can watch this video just you have to carefully listen my explanation and if you carefully listen my explanation so you can create your own website using html css and javascript so before moving to my code editor here i will just give you the brief idea about this design so here i have created two header part and in the top header in the left side i have added some menus and in the right side i have added social icons if i hover on the social icons you can see i have added some animation and in the bottom header i have added logo in the left side and in the right side i have added some menus including search icon so if i click the search icon so search bar will open and simply here you can type your search item and press enter and if you want to close this search icon so just you have to click this close button so it will close and in the right side i have added one button with animation effect you can see here and in the banner part i have added one image and on the text below the text here i have added one para and this para here it is animating you can see here so this animation i have created by javascript so here i will show you how you can create this kind of animation using javascript in your project so here i will explain the javascript also and very simple way i have explained so i hope guys you will be enjoyed this video just before moving to my code editor i will request you to like this video and put your remarks in comment section and if you find this video is helpful so don't forget to subscribe my channel that you have come any drive or your desktop where you want to store your project so suppose i want to store my project here so just simply here i will right click and i will create one folder so i will come to the new option and after that here folder so folder name will be your project name so here i want to write my project name is demo so here you can see i have created one project that is demo so i will open this demo folder and inside this demo folder i will create two another folder so new folder so first folder name i will write the name is css and i will create the another one and i will name it images so inside this images folder i will store my images and inside the css folder i will just store my css okay so i'll close this one now if i open this demo folder so here you will find two other folder is created i hope it is clear so after that here you have to open any editor it can be your notepad okay so just come here and you can open your notepad i hope everyone knows about notepad this one you can open also or i will suggest to open visual studio code editor so here you can see this is my visual studio code editor so if you don't have the visual studio code editor so you can install or you don't know how to install just simply you can write in my comment section i will provide the link it is very easy to install so after open this visual studio code editor you will get this kind of interface okay i hope guys it is clear if you have any doubt you can write in the comment section because i already said this course is for beginner also so if you are the beginner you may be some doubt so just write in the comment section i will try to solve your doubt and after that you have to click file icon and just come down here you will get add folder to workspace option so you have to click here and here it will open this window so you have to find your project so i have created my project in desktop so i will go here and here you can see this demo folder which i created so i will select this demo folder and i will click simply add button and after that here in the first icon you have to click so if i click so here you can see project is added and now you have to click create one html file so this html file you have to create inside this demo folder not css or images folder okay inside this demo folder so how you can create just simply you have to select this demo folder like this one. and there is many ways to create html file like simply here you can go to file option and new file okay otherwise here you can just right click and new file and the better option is here you will get some file and folder icon so simply you have to click this file icon so see here you have to write the name so first html file name always should be index okay so here i have written index and i will write the extension is dot html so see here index.html file is created and now 
here I already set in the CSS folder I will create one CSS file so just I will select this CSS folder and same way I will click this file icon and CSS file name always first CSS file name always should be style.css so I will write style.css by the way this one is not a mandatory but we write like this way here instead of style you can write any other name but index.html this is always mandatory okay so index and style is created here i want to show you another thing that is inside this images folder i have stored some images if you want to create those images you can write in the comment section otherwise i will provide in the description those images link so i will minimize this images folder and just i will click this icon again to minimize this panel okay and now in the index.html file i will start to write my first code so the first line always must be html version so here i will write doc type okay and doc type html so this doc type will be capitulated and it denotes html version 5 so you use android and ios so there is the version so same way every language is version so in html doc type denotes html version 5 okay now you have to write the html tag like this way opening and closing so in the closing time always you have to write the slash and inside this html tag here you have to write the another tag that is head and inside this head tag you have to define something so first thing title okay so title opening and closing so here you have to write your page title so my page name is index so simply here you can write index otherwise you can write here home anything you can write here but it must be your page title okay so title and after that here head tag is closed you have to add some other thing also but i will show you later but first of all just below the head tag you have to write one body tag okay inside this body tag we will write our code okay i hope it is clear now here if i write h1 tag okay and h1 means it's a heading tag okay and here if i write hello so you will find it will reflect in webs i mean browser means your first page is created so how you can check simply you have to come to your folder and you created index file right by this editor so you will get this index file here so just double click and you can see it's open here right hello so means your page is created so i hope guys up to that it is clear and now i will come here again and inside this head tag i will put some important data so first one is meta okay meta name so meta name will be view port okay so meta name viewport and here b will be small letter and after that here content so content here i will write with with equals to device hyphen with okay comma initial hyphen scale equals to 1.0 so now understand what is this so guys you have listened one term that is responsive responsive means same site we can say in the laptop desktop tablet and mobile it without breaking right so this thing will help you to make it responsive okay now after that here you have to write another meta tag so meta name here i will write this creep sun and the content will be like i am learning web design okay because this is description so you have to write here the description and again i will write meta tag so meta name will be keywords okay and content here content will be like web design comma html comma css comma javascript so here this keyword will help you to seo seo means when we search any 
thing in Google. So it sub it provides some site. So this keyword will help you to rank your site in Google. Okay. So here you have to write keyword always. So this one is done and this is very important thing. And another, another thing here meta name is author. Okay. And content. So content name here means who is creating this website. So here you can write your name. Here I will write my channel name that is creative developer. Okay. This is done and open new tab and just simply here you have to type Google fonts. Okay. The first link you have to open but by all the things I will provide in description. And from here you have to choose the font which one you want to apply in your site. So just here search. I will search the poppins this font. So here I will click and it will open here. So from here you have to choose the font style and the font weight. See the font style is here. So here I will choose first is 400. Okay. And after that this 500, 600, 700 and 800. Okay. So font is added here. I will minimize this one. And here two link is created. So just you have to take the last one. And now you have to come to your editor and just simply you have to paste the font link. Okay. And guys here, if I go here, you can see in the CSS, it's clearly written. In the CSS, you have to write this one. So here I want to apply this fault family for all the content. So all the contents wrapped by this body tag. So I will copy this body tag and in the CSS I will paste and here I will just add this font family. Okay. So now if I save and this one also save and if I just reload this page. So here you can see nothing is changed because this is CSS file and this one I did not link yet. So here in the head tab, I have to link this CSS file. So here I will write link relation is style. Okay. And here href, I will write and I will add the path. So dot slash here you can see CSS folder is displaying. So I will click the CSS folder inside the CSS folder. Here is the style dot CSS file. And here just I will add this one i have to write relation style sheet okay and now if i refresh so see font is changed okay so this is done now here i will add bootstrap okay so i will come to the browser and this one is not required i will close this one so here i will just simply type bootstrap cdn link w3 school so from W3 school, I will collect the bootstrap CDN link. Okay. So here I will open like this or same step you can follow. Otherwise you can check the description. I will provide the link. Okay. So here this one is the CSS link. How you can understand? See here it is written dot CSS means this is the CSS link. So you have to copy this one and you have to paste but the remember you have to that is you have to paste above this style.css file okay here is the reason because here is some bootstrap is the framework of css right means later you can understand okay now i'm not go to explain this one because you may confuse later i will explain this one why it maintain you need to maintain the sequence okay and after that i will just add the themeify icon you can add font or some maybe you have listened font or some and some other icon name here i will use themeify icon so i will write themeify icon cdn link code pen okay this icon link i will just take it from code pen okay so here by the way those things you will get from official side as well but from here I'm just taking anywhere you can take it. This is not a mandatory thing. And here you have to come settings. 
and CSS and after that this link you have to copy and I copy it already and just here I will light link and href and the link okay and close so everything is done here now I will just start to write the code so I will remove this one first so guys first of all here I will write header tag so HTML provide header tag create and header okay so this tag name you have to just remember and after that here I will write deep class container so this is bootstrap class bootstrap class means I will explain later if you don't know bootstrap class so just now you have to write here container and the spelling you have to write the same if you write the wrong spelling so it will not work and now here I will write another class that is top header because first of all I will create my top header part okay so here this class name here you can write anything because this is not a bootstrap class and after that here just I will write deep class row so again I'm writing bootstrap class row is the bootstrap class and again deep class call md6 this is also bootstrap class okay this is just for creating grid so in the first class here I mean in the first column d6 here just I will write deep class top menu so this class name you can write as to your choice so inside this top menu class here I will write evil and after that li and inside the li here I will write a h r e f anchor tag okay so anchor tag used to just add the link so means when you click any menu so that time it redirect to another page so that's that thing we made by anchor tag okay so just here you have to write the link suppose you here if you write www.google.com so here this one it will redirect to the google site okay so here i will write home okay link here i will not add here any link because here i'm not uh, going to create any uh, any other page like uh, home page or anything home page is the first one but i'm not going to create any other page so that's why here i will not add link but home page is the first one so that's why here i will add the link name is index.html because this one because when i'll click this menu so it will redirect to the same page only okay and after that just here i will write another li tag and anchor tag so href and here here i'm not going to write any other link because i'm not creating other other page also so just here simply i will write you can keep it blank or you can write here hashtag anything you can do here you can write here javascript void zero okay so anything you can write here so i will just explain why we need to write uh, write javascript uh, void zero and uh, what is the difference between hashtag and javascript void zero i will explain that also so now here i will write that is faq Yes, okay and by the way this this is I'm creating menu okay so here you can add any name of this menu and now this one I will like contact okay so I will do save and here you can see it is added some changes so now if you click the home so see it is redirect to the same page right because here I have added this link and now if I click any other menus so here see in the URL it's added hashtag because here I have added one hashtag so that's why uh, here we can write like javascript void zero like this okay so if i write this thing and now if i remove this hashtag and refresh once and now if i click again so see it is happen nothing so that means when we don't add the link uh, for the demo purpose and we send our site to client or any other uh, any other person so we need to write here this thing okay because it will not redirect or it will not add any hashtag or anything in the url so just remember this thing so this one you have to write here also so hope you have understand right so this one is created and now here i will write another li tag and here i will just add the drop down okay so a and here h r e a so inside this href just same thing i will add here this one i will copy and i will just paste here okay and after that here i will add one class name 
so this class name you can write anything i will write the class name is drop down because i'm going to create drop down okay and this one and inside this anchor tag here just i will add one image so image i already stored inside the images folder so source dot slash so it will just uh, it will show my other folder so images i will go and here i will choose the language one okay en eng dot png okay this is and inside this alter tag here you have to write a name i mean or you, you can write the description of this image okay so here i will write the description of this image so choose lang english language english language this one this will help to seo purpose okay so ac what is seo i already explained so this one and now here just after this image here i will create one icon so icon link i already added here okay themeify icon i already added this one is the icon link so now i will use icon okay and the bootstrap class i'm using so bootstrap link i already added here this is bootstrap link okay so all the links i have added now just i'm using so here i class and here this one is coming from themeify icon okay so the icon name is ti angle and down by the way the icon you can use other uh, icons also like font or some or anything and after that here just i will create drop down menu okay so drop down menu so first of all i have to write div and then class drop down menu so uh, here just i will create the menus okay so a div and inside this div here i will write image image source and dot slash images other three language images i have so i will add here and now here in the alter tag i will write choose french language okay this is the description of this image i hope guys it is clear and here you can see images adding here and now just here i have to write the name is french okay so this one is done i will just copy the same thing and i will paste here and again i will paste here now just i will change the image okay so here after french here you can see uh, i have another that is arabic okay and here i will write arabic and after that here i will change that is thai so here i will write thai and also i will change the alter tag choose thai language here and here i will copy arabic and choose arabic language here in the alter tag i changed this thing okay now i will just save so see it is looking like this now so this one is done and after that here just i will create for social icon so this column d it's closing here see so what i will do just below here i will create another call md and six okay so now here i will write and the bootstrap class text right okay so now here just i will write div class and top social okay because here now i'm going to create social icon and here you will tag same way like how i created menu but that time i created menu but now i will create social icon okay so you will and li so always you have to write li tag when you were using you will okay this is format and now inside li tag you have to write anchor tag anchor tag it's not a mandatory 
uh, you can use without anchor tag also but why i'm writing anchor tag because here uh, suppose when i will click facebook icon so i have to redirect to the facebook page so without anchor tag we cannot do that in normal html so that's why we need to write anchor tag i hope it is clear so now here i'm not going to add any facebook link so i already said that time we have to write javascript void zero this thing and now here i will create icon okay so i and class i class and this icon also will come from themify icon so ti denotes themify okay so here i will write facebook and just here i will write facebook so facebook is created so here facebook icon it's not coming okay so icon is not displaying because i did some wrong thing so here i will go to top and in the link of themify icon here this is the themify icons link you can see here so always you can see i have added relation style sheet when i'm adding any css link this is bootstrap css link and this is my external css file link i mean this one so here i have added this style sheet relation so but for themify icon i forgot to add so here i will add and now here you can see this icon and facebook icon is displayed so that the wrong thing i did okay so now facebook icon is displaying now so i will copy and paste here and after that here just i will change the icon name so twitter and i will change the text also twitter okay if i save so here you can find that is twitter also display okay so same way just i will paste it for youtube and after that instagram then phone and email okay and now i will come here so twitter one now i will change to youtube okay youtube and here i will change youtube and this one i will write instagram here also instagram so those thing ti happen instagram those are coming from themify icon if you think like uh, instead of instagram if you write any other name so it will not work okay so here i will write mobile like suppose here oh, we call it phone as well so if you want to write here phone so it will not work you have to write ti hyphen mobile okay so here i will write phone and here i will write email like this one this one if you want to write gmail so it will not work here i will write email okay so now here you can see all the icons and text is display so now i will start uh, start to write css part so here first of all i'll just scroll to the left and i will scroll up here the first class name i added top header okay so here i will paste so now i will just write some css property okay so here i will write padding padding is 15 pixel and zero and in the body i have to write some css property also so in the body i have to write padding zero and margin is also zero and font size font size is 16 pixel okay so you see here when i have written font size 16 pixel here so all font size are increased because here body is the parent of all the things see so when we write any css property in the parent so it applicable for all child child means this is parent and inside this whatever elements is there so those are called child element okay so here i'm going to explain now what is bootstrap see this top header class this is custom class name so i have 
added some CSS property, but bootstrap means those kind of CSS property already predefined. Okay. And already predefined where in the bootstrap link so here, this is the bootstrap link, right? So in the bootstrap link, it's already predefined. Some classes is there. Just we take it from there and we use it like container container is the bootstrap class see here i have added container that's why it's added some space in left and also in the right but if i remove this container see no space is coming here so the container class the css property it's already written in bootstrap i hope it is clear so this css property is done for top header okay now here i will come and after that here is the top menu because this one and this one is the bootstrap so so i don't need to write this one uh, this uh, css property for those two things so now i'll come top menu to so top menu and inside this top menu here is the ul property see ul li and anchor tag okay so first i will write for you also on copy from here and here i will paste so see when i'm writing css for class name so that time i'm using dot and when i'm writing for tag name because if you notice this is not a class right but this top menu this is class here you can see but this is not class so that time no need to write anything just simply you have to write the name only okay so you will and here i will write padding is zero and margin is zero because you will tag by default contain some padding and margin see when it was i did not write any padding and margin so that time here it's added some space in left but while i'm writing padding and margin is zero it's removed the space okay now i will copy the same thing and here i will write the css for li and now another thing i'm going to explain that is here always i'm taking top menu you will ally why i'm taking this because if you notice top menu is the parent one suppose this ul li tag is some other places also like if i just come here see this ul li class here also so if i don't take this top menu class so that means those css property will be applicable for here and here as well but when i'm writing top menu class here so that means it is it will applicable for only this one means which one inside top menu right i mean uh, inside this top menu not those i hope it is clear and now inside a uh, li tag first here you can see all li tag it's contain a dot by default so i have to remove this dot so list style type i will write none this is this dot css property name list style type so i don't need that so i will make it none and those css property name just you have to remember okay so here and if you if you are thinking why it's not removed because this is not uh, this is not inside top menu okay this css property just inside here if i show here so those css prop i mean those li tag under this top social so that's why it is not removed from here okay so li tag and now here see all are coming in in a separate line so i have to bring it in the same line so that's why here i will write display i mean how it will display it will display in a line same line so in line block so see it will come in a same line right and now i will write this is for anchor tag so here i copied the same thing and i will write anchor tag because anchor tag is inside li tag see here li and after that anchor tag so this one and first in the anchor tag here i will write padding padding is 12 pixel okay 12 pixel so that means here it will applicable for top left right and bottom for all side okay and font size font size is 
12 pixel and if you don't know the difference between padding and margin that i will explain also okay so padding means inside this element so i will come here and just i will explain here so suppose if you write padding for this top menu class so it will just add a space inside inside top menu means here but if you write margin margin means outside so if you write margin for the top menu class that means it will applicable space for here it means outside i hope it is clear so now after that here just i will write line height line height is 20 pixel so line height means this see here it is coming in the separate line so that time what is the space you want to add so that denotes line height okay 20 pixels and font weight font weight is 700 and text transform text transform is uppercase so here you will find all the text is coming in uppercase and here color i will change the color of the font that is these color codes okay so how you can take the color just first you have to write hashtag and any three digits number okay here you can write one 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 like any number and after that if you hover so color panel will open so from here you can drag and choose the color so here i know the color code so i know i don't need to open the color panel okay so color this one and after that i will copy the same thing here and i will paste and inside this anchor tag here i have a drop down right so this is drop down class so this this class inside this anchor tag so here when i will i will write this drop down class this class name so that time in the css i will not add space between a and drop down why because this drop down class inside this anchor tag okay inside this anchor tag only but if it would be a child class means this drop down class would be under anchor tag so that time i i have to add space but now here no need to add space okay so i hope it is clear and here just i will like position is relative and after that here i will light i mean i will copy first this one and i will write the css for uh, this drop down menu so see this drop down menu class under this anchor tag means this is now parent and this one now child so here it's re it needs to add some space so see here i have added space so now after that i will write the css is for position absolute so when why what is the meaning of relative and absolute so sometime we want to float a element right now this drop down menu i want to float it so where i want to float inside this drop down so that's why this one relative and which one you want to float that one you have to write absolute okay so now see now it is coming like this but once i have i will write absolute and if i save so it is changed it is coming here so i can change the position of this one right now so i will write top is 40 pixel so see it is now going top and here i will write left left is zero okay and after that background color so here two things background and background color both are same you, you can use any any one okay so background color code is this one this is white color code and width width is 140 pixel and border top so uh, in the top of this element i want to add border so the border will be two pixel and solid the border will be solid okay and here the color which color you want to add so that color you have to choose here so the color code a 
ई नाइन सिक्स जीरो थ्री नाइन सिक्स जीरो थ्री ओके सो दिस इज द कलर कोड सी हेयर इट्स कमिंग ऑन कलर एंड आफ्टर दैट हेयर आई विल राइट बॉक्स सैडो ओके सो आई आई वॉन्ट टू एड सैडो इन दिस एलिमेंट सो हेयर बॉक्स सैडो सो द बॉक्स सैडो विल बी जीरो एंड थर्टीन ओके दिस इज द सैडो एक्चुअली एंड आफ्टर दैट हेयर यू हैव टू डिफाइन द स्प्रेड आई मीन हाउ हाउ मच द सैडो विल दैट यू हैव टू डिफाइन द स्प्रेड एंड द ब्लर वन लाइक हाउ मच यू वॉन्ट टू स्प्रेड दिस सैडो एंड हाउ मच यू वॉन्ट टू ब्लर दिस वन सो दिस टू थिंग्स ओके एंड द कलर ऑफ द सैडो ओके सो हेयर यू कैन राइट एनी कलर नेम देयर इज थ्री टाइप ऑफ कलर ओके लाइक दिस वन एंड यू कैन यूज आर जी बी एज वेल सो हेयर नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू यूज आर जी बी सो आर जी बी कलर फर्स्ट रेड ओके आर फॉर रेड जी फॉर ग्रीन एंड बी फॉर ब्लू सो रेड कलर कोड इज जीरो एंड आफ्टर दैट ग्रीन कलर कोड इज जीरो एज वेल एंड देन ब्लू कलर कोड इज जीरो एंड देन द ऑपासिटी आई मीन द फाइव परसेंट ओके सो दिस इज द कलर कोड सो सी हेयर वन सैडो इज कमिंग एंड आफ्टर दैट जेट इन दिस सो आई फ्लोटेड दिस डी सो हाउ मच इट विल फ्लोट दैट विल डी नोट जेट इन दिस ओके दिस वन एंड नाउ हेयर जस्ट आई विल राइट द सी एस एस पॉर ड्रॉप डाउन मेनू डी सो आई विल कॉपी दिस थिंग हेयर and inside this drop down menu there is div so i will write css for div tag okay so here first is padding padding is 9 pixel so now see how i'm writing padding 9 pixel and 12 pixel that means this one will be top and bottom and this one will be left and right okay and font size is 11 pixel and the border bottom so border bottom is one pixel solid and color code is this color code so if i save so see it is coming like this and now here i will add the css for those images so here just i will copy just i'll copy this thing and paste here an image because now here i want to add the css for image means here and all those images okay so here i have written only anchor tag no need to write drop down menu or anything okay only anchor tag means inside anchor tag how many images is there so all for, for all images it will same css will be applicable okay so that's why i'm writing like this way so here i will write the css is first width width is width is 20 pixel and height height is 20 pixel and after that border radius border radius is 20 pixel so the border radius property used to make round to a element okay so this one and now margin right is 8 pixel and here border is 1 pixel solid and color code this one and the background color so background color here i will write this color code okay so this is done and it see the image is looking like this and when i will hover on this fringe are weak so that time i want to add some hover effect so here i will just copy this class and i will paste here and simply colon and hover means that means when i will hover on this div and this div means those are the div so when i will hover hover means when i will bring my mouse cursor so that time i want to change the background color so the background color here i will write this color code okay so now if i hover so see it is uh, it's added some board hover effect okay so this one is done and now i will add the css for this 
icon okay so here icon means uh, icon inside this anchor tag okay i means who, who, whatever icon inside this anchor tag so those icon he as uh, his property i will add here so font first font size font size is 8 pixel and margin so margin here i will write top is 0 and after that right right is 0 and then bottom bottom is 2 pixel then left left is 4 pixel so see it is now like this okay and after that when i will hover on those anchor tags so that time i want to add some css i'm in hover effect okay so here i'll copy this one paste and just hover and here on the hover i will write text decoration is none because see when i'm hover on those menu so that time it's coming underline so i it this underline it's looking very bad so i want to remove so that's why text decoration this underline coming from text decoration css property so if i make it none so on hover see no underline is coming so text decoration none and after that here i will write the background color so the background color here i will write this color code see one background color is coming on hover and now guys here i will add the css for this drop down menu because see it is by default it's displaying but the drop down menu is either hover or click it should display but now it is by default it is displaying so what i will do just i will come to the drop down menu means here okay here simply by default i will make it display none means it will not display display is none so if i save so it is not displaying but when i will hover here so that time i will display this thing okay so that's why i will come here and here i will write i mean i will copy the same thing means when i will hover in this anchor tag okay so when i'll hover this anchor tag so that time this drop down menu okay i mean which i made none this one so that time it will display so i'll copy this one and paste here now i will write display is block so here it is displaying but see not smoothly right so that's why here i will add some animation so animation name here i will write animation name so animation name i will write example okay and here animation duration 0.2s so this animation it's not any plugin or framework so here i have to create the animation so i copied the animation name and here i will write at the rate keyframes this is the keyword for creating animation in css keyframe and the animation name okay example which i have added here and from so from here top is 46 pixels and to it will be 40 pixels i mean this animation will start from 46 pixel and here just a minute here i have to write top okay and it will end in 40 pixel because by default in the drop down here see top i have added 40 so when it will start so that time it will be 46 pixel and it will end in 40 pixel okay means if i hover see it is coming from bottom and ending in 40 pixel right coming from 46 and ending in 40 pixel so this is the animation and this one is done okay so now i will add the css for those so those are coming in social top social see here so i will copy the css i mean this class name not css this class name and here i will write the css so same way you will you will see here it's contain some padding and margin by default so here i will just make it zero 
padding 0 and margin is also 0 ok. So, see now it is coming from left and I will copy this one paste and li. So, first thing will be I have to remove those dot. So, I already said list tile type that is none and here I have to bring in in same line. So, display in line block. So, see it is coming here ok. So, after that margin left margin left is 20 pixel and width width is uh, 22 pixel and height height is 30 pixel. So, see it is coming like this. So, here I have to hide this text I mean Facebook Twitter those text. So, here I have set one width and height. So, this text means I mean width and height it is up to this icon only not text. So, after this icon I mean it is just overflowing those text are overflowing right. So, here I will write overflow is hidden. So, see text are not displaying here. So, here if I write height is 24 pixel. So, see it is totally height from here. Okay. So, after that here I will copy this li tag and I will paste a anchor. Okay. Because inside this li tag here also I have added anchor tag. So, now I will add the sys for anchor tag. So, text transform is capitalized. Capitalized means only the first letter will be capital. So, now I will just comment this one okay because I am writing the CSS for those text. So, I have to check the changes right. So, I will just remove this overflow hidden but later I will open it again. Okay, now color, color is triple six. This is a color code and after that text decoration is none. I already explained why we use text decoration just to remove the underline and font size. Font size is 12 pixel and font weight is 600. Okay, see now it is coming like this and after that here I will write padding. Padding is 9 pixel and display is block. Okay. So, now here I just decrease the font size here. So, now if I just make it hide 30 pixel again and if I remove this overflow hidden. So, you can see it is height again. Okay. So, this one is done. And now I will write the CSS for this icon. So, I will copy this one and here I will paste an I because this icon here inside this anchor tag C I. Okay. So, first CSS property will be margin right. So, just I will come here and I will write margin right is 4 pixel and after that here when I will hover on the li tag hover on this li tag so that time here width width I will make it auto ok so see if I hover so it is displaying like this ok and here I will copy this thing hover a color I will change to white. So now if we hover here you can see it is not displaying because for color color I have added white. 
so now i will just change the background color so that time it will display so i will copy this one and dot facebook so facebook means if i come here and here i have to add one class this is facebook okay so same way here i will add the class related to our icon so class name and this icon is for twitter so i will write the class name is twitter and here i will add class this is for youtube okay and this one for instagram and this is for mobile and this one for email okay so each icon each anchor tag i have added one class and class name is related to our icon by the way those class name you can write anything so when i will hover so that time only for the facebook icon it color should be blue right because our facebook color background color is blue so here i will write the background color that is this color code 3 and after that b5998 okay this is the color code so now if we hover see it is coming like this so same way i will add for twitter this is twitter right and i already added a class that is called twitter so twitter this one and the background color just i will change 1da1f2 this color so see this one it is coming like this and after that it is for youtube so here i will change the color name is i mean sorry class name is youtube and i will change the color code is double f and triple zero i mean four zero okay so it will add the red color because our youtube color code is red like this okay and after that for instagram so here i will write instagram and the instagram color code there is gradient color code so here i am not going to add gradient color code because this code is for beginner level also so here just simply i will choose one color code from the gradient color gradient color means it's a mixture of two three colors that is called gradient color okay so here not i am going to add two three colors so only one color i have added here this color okay so now again i will just copy this one and here i will paste and uh, instagram then it is mobile and the mobile color code here means it is call color code so 7 c f c double zero this one okay and make la the last one is for gmail so i have written the class name is email so this color code i will write f double b c zero five this one so this is gmail color code now if we hover see it's coming like this so top header is done now here i will come to the html part and i will create for bottom header so just here this is top header so i will minimize this one and i will write the html code at first for bottom header so now just below the top header here i will write the class and i will write bottom header by the way this class name you can write anything okay and here i will create row and grid so deep class call md4 and the another grid will be 8 because we know we can divide in ma maximum 12 grid so if it is 4 so another one i have to write 8 because 4 and 8 is 
12 but if i write here 9 so it will not work because maximum 12 bit i we, we can divide okay so now first in the inside this four number grid here just i will add logo so give class logo okay and here i will add anchor tag because when i will click on the logo so that time i want to redirect in the main page or first page you can say so our first page name is index.html okay and here now i will write the image so image source and dot slash images and here logo okay and in the alter tag here i will write logo so this is done if i save so see our logo is coming right so and now here after this four number tag just here is the eight number grid okay not tag a four number grid and after that eight number grid so here i will write one ul and li and inside this li here anchor tag so here i will write javascript void zero okay this one i have written so now just i will copy this li tag and i will paste it multiple times because here menus name will be different home first one so those menus name you can write as per your project okay what we do and here again faqs this is for demo purpose so same menu whatever i have added in the top so some menus i'm taking from here also like home faqs contact okay so this is done and here just i will create a search icon for inside this anchor tag and just i will paste it another time so here first here i will just create a search icon okay so here i will write i class ti themify icon i'm using so ti and then search so see search icon is coming and after that here search i mean this search input field i have to close also so here now i will create for close icon so ti close this one and here i will create a button so here i will write the button name is get started okay see this is so when i will add the css so it will change the design okay so here i will add one id okay for this search icon i mean this search icon this close icon and this button so here because those css will be little changed okay so that's why here i will add id and the id name here i will write open search button search button this one close so i will write the id name is close search button and this is for button and the button can be other places also same button so here i will not write id i will write class because id name always should be unique in one page this is one page so here same id name i cannot use but same class name i can use so here the button class name i will write button all if this button is required to another place so simply i will call this class name and it will add same design okay so that's why i have added here and after that just inside this row okay means here just below not inside just below this row here i will create one input field so here input field means search input field okay so input type is text and here placeholder placeholder is type and 
so when you use this kind of symbol right so we should not write like this so here and a m p like this okay so and hit enter and after that one id i will write so the id name is search input see it is coming like this and the placeholder means see one text is displaying inside this input field that is type and hit enter so that is called placeholder so this one is done okay bottom menu is done but the bottom menu you can see here it is coming from the left side but there is a class bootstrap class that is text right so if we write so see it is now starting from right so this is bootstrap class so the css some css property is already written in the text right class just i'm using this class from bootstrap so that is the difference between bootstrap and normal css okay so first css property here now i have added some custom class like bottom header so first one i will add the custom css for this one so bottom header so here i will add box shadow so first is zero shadow okay and after that i already said it is blur and how much it will extend the shadow so this one and now rg b a red green blue and a for opacity so red is zero and green is zero zero actually it's a black color code see well i have written three zero the color is displaying that is black and here i have to write the opacity okay so here the opacity i will let 0.05 see it is now reduce the darkness so this is done and after that background color so one background color i will write that is white and here padding 0 and 30 pixel means top and bottom is 0 and left and right is 30 pixel and position is relative okay so see it is coming like this here after bottom header here is the logo so i will write the css for this logo image okay so bottom header if i show the hierarchy so bottom header after that here logo then anchor tag then image so i will follow the same hierarchy okay so logo and after that anchor tag anchor tag then image tag okay so just this one so and everything is the child classes right because logo logo child is anchor tag anchor tag child is image so that's why here i have added spaces okay so now here just i will fix the height height is 80 pixel see the size of logo it's now reduced and now i will write the css for those ul like that so here just bottom header ul see only ul there is no other parent the parent is bottom header right so i will copy this bottom header and paste and ul so you will first you know you will all its content default padding and margin so i will just make it zero and after you will there is li tag so here i will write list style type and i already explained why i use leaks and also display in line block that also explained i already see now it is coming like this okay so now i will add the css for anchor tag okay because inside this li tag there is anchor tag as well so show here so anchor tag so just i will copy up to that and paste and anchor tag okay so the first i will change the color color code is this one and after that font weight is 600 and font size is 
15 pixel and padding so padding top and bottom is 29 left and right is 10 and display here i will add inline block okay because why i'm writing display inline block because here i have written padding right but if i don't write display inline block then padding will not applicable for anchor tag so just you have to remember this thing okay so suppose if you don't write inline block or block in anchor tag so padding will not applicable okay so i have written inline block and here why i did not write block because here i have to make it in the same line right but because if i write here block so that time padding will be applicable also but i have written inline block because i have to make it in the same lines and text decoration text decoration because see on hover it is coming under line so it it is not required so i will write none so now see it is coming like this and after that here when i will hover on this anchor tag so that time i want to add some css so hover i will add the css is color so the color is here fe 9603 this is color so if i hover see the color is coming like this okay so now this is done but guys here by default this page is home page right so here i have to show it active so means by default the, here this orange color should be added right because then it will look like active one so here what i will do just i will add comma because same css property i will write so here i will write one class name active okay and here see i did not add any space because this active class i will copy from here and i will add for the first element right so class equals to active so see by default it's added this orange color okay so now it is done and i will add the css for this button now so here i'll copy this one okay this one and button is if i show here see anchor tag and inside this anchor tag element there is the button tag so i'll copy i mean button class okay so copy a dot button all okay so here first i will write the border radius border radius is three pixel and it will make the round of this elements corners and background background is has fe9603 okay this is background color and the color of this button text will be white color code and text transform is a light uppercase okay and after that here padding padding is 8 pixel and 22 pixel and font size is 14 pixel and position is relative and top it will be 2 pixel and transition because when i will hover on this button so the animation whatever i will add so that will be smoothly okay so 0.2 as and is in means in time and out time animation will be same smooth way okay so save and see it is coming like this and after that here just i will copy this one and i will paste and in over i will just change the background color so color will be this color code and top will be zero so see now button is coming like this so if i hover see the animation as well okay so here i have forgot to write s 
S for second. Okay. So now see animation is coming very smoothly. Okay. So now here I will add the CSS for this input field. So here I have taken a ID. Okay. So ID is always unique. Right. So that time here no need to follow the hierarchy like parent class then uh, then like uh, child class. Okay. So here you can just simply write the ID. So in the input field here I will write one ID. ID name I will write here. Okay. ID I have already written here in the last. Okay. So just I will remove from here and I will copy the ID name from here and I will paste it here. So here first I will write with width is 100 percent and height is 100 percent and position is absolute. Okay. So see it is coming here and after that here I will write top is 0 and left is also 0 and after that here I will write border border is 0 and outline outline is 0 ok because see by default in the input field it is coming a border and outline so I will make it zero and the padding padding 20 pixel and the font size is 30 pixel and the font weight is 800 and by default this one i will make it none because when i will click this search button that time it will display not before okay so i have written none so now I will just remove, I mean comment this one. See, it is displaying. Okay. So here I will add the CSS for this placeholder. So I will copy this ID name and here I will paste colon, colon and placeholder. Okay. So I will make it uppercase. So text transform uppercase. And after that, here just I will add the CSS for this close search button. So now I will just for input field if CSS is done. So now I will just comment out this one. Okay. So now I will add the CSS for this close icon. So here I will come here and see here for the close icon here I have added an ID. So I will copy this ID name and I will paste here. Okay, so this close icon also first it, it will not display because when I will click this search button, so that time it will display to close the input field, right? Be but in uh, initially it will not display. So here display none and position is absolute because this close icon should be float also because this close icon will just come to the, I mean uh, it will uh, come on to the input field right so that's why it, it should be floated also so here position is absolute and jet index denote how much you want to float it so i have i will write here one and top is zero okay so close icon is removed from here and now i will come to the index.html file and just i will add the code for banner so header is done so I will just minimize this header tag. Okay. And now here I will write section class. By the way, instead of section, you can write div as well. Okay. So section class, class name is banner. And here I will write inline CSS. This is called inline. I mean in inside this same element, I'm writing CSS, not uh, this is called external because I have created a separate CSS file. But here I'm writing the CSS here only. Why I'm writing here? Because guys, sometime we need to change background image. Okay. So I mean dynamically, sometime we need to add background image. So if we write background image here, 
so we can change it dynamically but if we write in the css file so here we cannot change okay so that's why background image i will suggest to add always inside this html file okay image url colon this is the code to write background image okay so here dot slash images and the banner okay this is and here it's not required to write alter tag because this image actually coming from css but the css i'm writing in html okay so section this is done and now here i will write a container so b class container and inside this container i'll write contain and here just i will write a content so h1 tag h1 tag there is six tags okay h1 to h6 h1 means only the font size and font weight you you can see the difference okay so here is the h1 tag so here i will write the content is improve your seo by the way the content will be spo project okay again i'm saying data okay and after that here i will write h2 tag okay so if you write uh, in your project h1 to h2 up to h6 tag so it will help to seo purpose okay so here i will write boost your own okay and here i will write one span tag okay span tag if i write here deep tag so it will break the line i will show you okay but first span tag and here one id this is for javascript part because here just i will create the animation right when i was showing the preview that time i had shown you text to us changing right so span tag and inside this span tag some text i will change by javascript and here i will like website this one is done and after that p tag here and here i will write some dummy content so simply you have to open a new tab and here you can type lorem ipsum so this one will provide some dummy text if you open this one so here you will get some dummy text okay so i will open c here those are the dummy text so he, from here you can copy one text and you can paste in your project okay so just i will do the same so see here i have added one text okay so this one is done now i will just copy this banner class and i will come to the css and here i will add this css property for banner so first i will add here height so height will be 372 pixel okay so here height and after that background position background position is center background repeat okay that is no repeat and background size size is cover i mean it will cover our page okay like this so now see it is displaying like this and after that here i will add the css for content i mean this class so here is the parent banner and then content so i already copied this content class so i will paste here but before that i will just add this parent okay so here i will set one width that is 450 pixel and inside this content there is one h1 tag also so here h1 tag and on size first 50 pixel and line height so line height is 1.3 and letter spacing is minus one pixel letter spacing means here each letter is having some space so this space i will make it minus one and after that margin bottoms margin bottom is 26 pixel and font weight is 
700 so now see it is looking like this and here i will just copy up to that and i will copy it again because that time it, it was not copied so h2 tag so in this h2 tag i will write font size is 18 pixel and here color color is this color code and after that margin top is zero so see it is like this and after that here is the p tag if i show here this is the p tag so i will add the css for this one so p tag and here i will write font size is 16 pixel and here line height is 1.7 and color is triple seven and the latest spacing is zero okay and the another thing here is the okay this id name here i will write banner text okay because that will be some re relevant name okay so banner text so i'll copy this banner text id and i will paste and i will take uh, you can take this uh, parent class or you cannot take because id is always unique so no need to follow the hierarchy okay this is depend on you You can write or not okay now a color and the color code is fe9603 okay so whatever text will animate so that will be in this color so this is done and now here i will come and i will start to write javascript okay so first javascript code i will write when i will click this search icon so that time this search field will open so here in the index here i will close this banner okay i will open this header again and this search icon is in the bottom header here this is search icon so here i will write one function inside this search icon see this is search icon and here i'm writing one function on click and the function name i will write open search and this is the syntax for writing a function so same function i will copy here and i will paste here and this is for close button so here i will change it to close search okay so now i will copy this one and i will come here just above this close body tag here you have to write script tag because javascript right so javascript we write inside script tag so now here i will define this function so function keyword and this one again i will go up and i have created another function for close search so i will copy this one and here i will just write function and close search okay this is done so now when i will click here so click thing i have defined but which one i want to open so i want to open this search input means here this is the search input field so this one i want to open so here i will copy this id first i have to take the reference of this one okay so i copied this id so here i will write a variable so where where is the keyword for defining a variable so variable name you can write anything so i will write the variable name is search input equals to now document document means our page okay so this is our page and this is called document i mean this one is our page and this is called document okay so from this document i want to get so get i want to get from the element okay so i will write element and by id because here i want to take the id this is not a class name this search input this is id okay so that's why get element by id and now here i will write where and open search button okay this is another variable 
and when I will click this button so that time this button should be hide and close button should be display right so that's why here I have defined another ID open search button same way document dot get element by ID and ID name I already copied that is open search button okay and here I have to oh, uh, just enable this close search button this open search button will hide and close search button will display okay so the variable name here instead of open I will write here close and I will go up and here I have taken a ID close search button for close icon okay so here I will copy this ID okay and I will paste here so this one is done so now when I will click this open search I mean this function so first I have to in display this one okay so here I will write this one dot style okay dot display because when I was hiding and uh, just uh, showing so that time we wrote in style dot css okay but now this style I'm writing from javascript so here style dot display and display is equals to block okay so now save and now if I click here see search is coming okay but for uh, but here I have to enable this close search button as well so here this one also style dot display here I will write block okay and if I say so close button will enable but search button should be high so this this one this search open search button this one should be display none so display style first is style dot style dot display is none okay so this is done so now let's see see it is coming close icon and it is displaying so now when i will click the close icon so this search input field should be hide again so now the close function i have written here so same thing i will copy but just this display thing i have to change so this is search input field if i show here so this one now should be hide so none and here close search button also should be hide so none but this one should be display so i will light it block okay so now if i click coming and here see it is working fine okay so this one is done now the main part is text animation here okay this text animation so here first i will write here one var and the variable name is text arr this is variable name but this variable name you can write anything and i will write an array because here two three text will animate in the same time right so when we want to contain two three text so that time we cannot write in the same in in the normal variable we we have to create one array okay because array contains multiple things so here i will write beautiful and comma and here i will write awesome and great okay this is array because if i don't create an array so that time we, we cannot write a three text now if i had created an array means here i have i can contain multiple text okay i mean here i have added the text which i want to display as an animation so now where index index is zero okay now suppose i want to display first this one okay so here in the array there is three text now i want to display this one means it's a zero because array start from zero okay this is called index just remember this thing this is javascript terms it is called index so array index zero means 
if I just make it a lot and if I write this text array this is array so I have to write inside the square bracket because see when I have created an array I, I have used square bracket so if I write here if I write here 0 and reload so see the first text is displaying in the alert okay so same way if I write here 1 so you can see the second text is displaying which is awesome means array start from 0 so instead of statically writing 0 1 here this 0 variable I have assigned inside this index variable so now here if I write index so same thing will happen if I change here to 1 and refresh so see the second text is coming right so I hope it is clear so now here I will remove this one and I will take another variable banner text okay so this text I will make it capital I mean T I will make it capital because it will easy to understand this is banner text and now here same way document dot get element by ID okay now which ID I want to take this span tag here is the span tag so I will just expand this banner and here in this span I have added one ID right so this ID I will take because inside here I want to display the text animation so I just copied this one and here I will paste okay so this one is done and now by default here I want to show the first text okay so how can I do that so the uh, inside this banner text I just copied this one so here I want to display so just I will write this banner text dot inner HTML means which HTML code I want to write inside this banner text means inner HTML so here I want to write this text array okay from this text array I want to display this first one so just here you can write 0 but I will write index because 0 I assign inside an index okay so see here it is displaying the first one so now I have to animate and I have to display the other one or also okay so now here oh, there is one method that is called set interval so this set interval method it's called a time by time so how you can define this method so set interval just check the spelling don't make it wrong spell then it will not work so then parenthesis inside this parenthesis you have to write another parenthesis and now just come here equals to this arrow and curly braces now enter see like this and here semicolon okay so this set interval function called time by time now after how many times so here comma and you have to define the time so if i define thousand means it's a one second thousand it, it is it takes a millisecond right so if you write thousand millisecond so thousand millisecond means one second so here if you write a lot and if you write if you write here hello so you will find it will display every thousand second it will this i mean thousand millisecond it will display this hello in the hello see if i make it ten thousand millisecond so it will display see it will display after ten thousand millisecond it will display hello so now just wait and you will find it will display one alert hello see after ten thousand millisecond it will display so now if i click ok and again it will display automatically after 10,000 millisecond hello right so this is see this is display so this is called set interval method now I will make it 1000 and I will save this one so now here I will just write this button text or I mean this sorry this banner text banner text first when this timer will call so in the first I want to display the first text so I have written this one okay and again here I will write if if 
इंडेक्स इंडेक्स अंटिल नॉट गोइंग सो नॉट इक्वल टू दिस टेक्स्ट लेंथ टेक्स्ट लेंथ मीन्स दिस अप टू फ्रॉम हेयर टू हेयर सो अंटिल index not going up to this array length means here i will write text array this variable dot length so that time this index i will increase one by one means plus plus you can write index equals to index plus one or you can write index plus plus mean it will increase one by one okay so here save and here i will write here if see if i just first i will show you if i save and first beautiful see awesome then great and see after that undefined so now means it it goes up to end but when it is end so again i have to come to the the first one right so here i will write another if condition if when index is equal to text array dot length so that time again i will make index is zero means it will start from here again so save and see it will work so when it is end again it is coming zero and it is going continue right so this is the thing now here i will increase the size so now see it is looking like this so if i hover see the drop down and if i hover here see the hover effect and button hover effect search button and also this animation so guys this course was for the basic to advanced okay if you find this video is helpful so please subscribe my channel also share and put your remarks in the comment section and also like this video